So today I'll be showing you how you can share your real time location with family and friends. Now I'm using the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but this works on all the Galaxy S25s. Now there are two main ways you can do this. One, you can use either the Samsung Find app or you can use the Google Maps application on your phone. So I'll show you both ways. So let's start, let's start with Samsung Find. So if you go into settings, let me just go back to the main settings page. So if you open the main settings page and then tap on your name at the top there, assuming you're signed into your Samsung account, if you scroll, you will see the Samsung Find app. Tap on that and then it's going to ask you notification when someone views your location. Let's set to every time so that you can tell every time someone views your location and then tap on next. And this is going to open Samsung Find. OK, now while you're here, you can see the current location of this phone. You can do this for a different phone if you have a different one like this one. Now, currently, since like this one, I mean, now, since I'm using this phone, I'm going to choose to use this phone. All right. So that's the phone I'm going to choose. So I'm going to select people. And then I'm going to tap on add. And I'm going to find people to share my location with. So find your family and friends with your contacts. I'll tap OK. And then now it says people you can share with. If you tap on this little arrow, you can select all and then you can see all your contacts. So from here, you can choose any contact that you want. OK, so for instance, if I choose that contact, as long as they have a Samsung account, they will be eligible for me to choose them. All right. So I'm going to choose only contacts with a Samsung account. So let me find all these contacts. You can see all these contacts have Samsung account like this one, this one, this one, this one. So all these are contacts with Samsung accounts. So you can only do this for contacts with Samsung accounts. And once you find someone you want to share your location with, you can just select them. So for instance, if I select this contact, and tap OK. I'm going to share my location with that particular person for maybe the next one hour or 24 hours or even indefinitely. By indefinitely, I mean I'm going to be sharing my location with this person until I turn it off. So I can tap on share. Use this phone as your location sharing device. Yes, I'm going to choose use. And then now that's it. You can see that contact has now been added to my list of people that I'm sharing my contact or rather my location with. All right. So this is limited because it's only for people with Samsung accounts. Now, if you want to, you can tap on that person and stop sharing the location or just remove them from the list just like that. OK, it's literally that simple. Now, the other way you can do this is using Google Maps. And the beauty about Google Maps is you can share your location with people who don't have Samsung accounts. You can share your location with people who don't even have Samsung phones. You can even share your location with people who have any Android phone or even an iPhone. And you can even share your location with people on computers. So to do this, uh, simply launch Google Maps, right? Like that. Now, once you launch Google Maps, you can tap on your profile icon in the top right corner. Tap on that and then select location sharing. And then tap on share location. Now there's going to be some permissions allow maps to access your contacts. Let's go ahead and allow that in case you've not allowed that already. And then now you want to share your location for maybe an hour or until you turn it off. You can share it for two hours. You can add that three hours, four hours, five hours like that. You can go adding the number of hours you want to share your location or reducing or you can share it indefinitely until you turn it off. Now, once you do that, then now you have the option to share. All right. So you can share with people on Google Maps. You can tap on more. You can go into your contacts and share with any of your contacts. OK. If you have WhatsApp set up, then you'll have that suggestion here and you can share it with anyone. So once you share, then that person will have access to your location. Now, there's one important setting you need to adjust, 
And that setting is how Google Maps accesses your location information. So let's go to location settings. So if you go to settings and then go to location, first of all, location has to be enabled. And then you can go to app permissions to look at permissions of specific apps. Then look for Google Maps. Now you can see currently Google Maps doesn't have permission to access your location. So you might want to choose while using the app. Now the problem with that is if you're sharing your location indefinitely, you have to be on Google Maps for the other person to see your location because that's the only time your phone has access to your location. You want to change this to all the time so that even when you exit Google Maps and you lock your screen, your Google Maps app has access to your location and it's relaying that to the person you're sharing your live location with, right? So that is basically how to share your live location on your Samsung Galaxy S25, uh, either through Samsung Find or Google Maps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I will get back to you there or in the next one. Good luck.